On this glorious day, the first anniversary of Pearl Harbor, Japan must remember that victory depends more than winning or losing battles. Science and industry are equally as important as the Imperial Army and Navy. Our scientists in their laboratories must develop better weapons. Our industrialists must improve their manufacturing process. Our workers must... Excuse it. We don't want any excuses. We want results. You have not been able to make synthetic fuel from plants, as you promised. The fact remains, Hakajima, your experiment is a failure. Calamity! You are surprising us, Hakahima. Are you successful after all? No, Major Saki. As I told you before, the fluid I developed wouldn't run the engine. But it was not failed. But, Chichi, I emptied a pail of synthetic while you were out. But there was fluid of the same color in the pail when I came back. And I put it in the empty tank. If your synthetic was not in that pail, what was in it? As far as I know, the still water. The still water? Yes, I filled the pail with it after pouring the experimental fluid down the drain. It's out of fuel. What is it? It evidently fell from the samples on the workbench shelf, hit the edge of the pail, broke, and dissolved in the water. It doesn't answer my question. What is it? 722. It doesn't mean a thing. This vial contains a sample of one of Dr. Albert Raymond's experiments. Dr. Raymond is a professor in chemistry at Lenfield University, an authority on explosives. I was one of Professor Raymond's assistants. Has anyone except us the faintest idea that 722 has the properties of a high test fuel? No one, not even Raymond. He has a formula file in his office merely as the record of an unsuccessful experimental explosive. Have you a copy of the formula? Yes, in my notebook but they are still hidden in America. Japan must have 722. Chemical warfare bows to military intelligence. Military intelligence headquarters section at once. This Major Saki, we must send someone into the United States who cannot be suspected of working for Japan. Encode the message I give you and radio to Nabora on Shadow Island. I was wondering, Nabora, when you'd be showing up. It is safe for Marker to ask me what you want to know about me and to try to find out for yourself. I take my orders from Lucky Camber. Try scaring him. Scare Marker? No. But as a friend, I think I should warn him. Is Lucky in? Yeah, and wants to see you. Good evening, Miss Moore. Oh, hello, Nabura. In one hour, please. One hour? Very well. I hope your luck has changed, Mr. Dorgan. It has. The worst. Ah, Fon? Nabura? What did Nabura tell us? To watch Terry Haney. Yeah, he's a secret agent, all right. United States. I don't care what you say, Nabura. I still don't like it. My grandfather bought Shadow Island from Japan. I own it, and I'm bought. And hasn't Japan guaranteed your neutrality ever since, Mr. Kemba? Now why? Because my island was of no value to Japan in peace? While now... And now, some such neutral crossroads for spies. 
is just as necessary to us as it is to our enemies. I don't care about spies. They won't always be customers. Why are wanted men? <laughs> That's another matter. Ah, so. Your precious criminals who can stay. Paying you head tax, of course. Because you have no extradition laws. This island isn't a nation. It doesn't pretend to be. It's a business. And now you're starting to cut into my profits, and that's what I don't like. Everyone must sacrifice in times of war. Japan has use for men like Drag Dorgan. I owe you 500 on two to win. Sorry, Mr. Dorgan. You cannot accept I owe you. Well, my credit's always been okay before. Solo is manager here for Mr. Cameron. You see him. Listen, Solo, I The answer want... is no. Pay your head tax and you can have credit. Not until. You know Lucky's rules, Drag. Either buy protection or leave the island. I know, but I've been paying now for Yes, it. and you go on paying if you plan on staying. You're making a mistake, Drag, pulling that gun. I have a message for you, Mr. Haney. Tell Nabora some other time. Now! Off Who does? With Nabura. And now, Mr. Dorgan, I suggest that you come with me. With you? Well, that's the way it is. Sure, Nabura. Sure. Captain Bruce. I see you have been able to persuade her, Dorgan. Yeah, I can take a hint. First she breaks me, then she has her boys knock off Terry Haney. What's up? We are sending you back to the United States. Oh, no, you are not. It's dangerous for you there, hmm? Yeah, among other places. It's too hot to make it worth my while. In that case, could you recommend a friend who would like to come to Shadow Island? What's in it for me? And me? No taxes to pay to Lucky? Dollars enough to satisfy even you, Mr. Dorgan. Well, I'm listening. And so, in conclusion, let me reassure you, fellow Australians, I was born down under. That is why I'm called Miss Australia. And that is why I tell you nothing but the truth on these broadcasts. Tomorrow night, I will have some recordings of Aussie prisoners for you. Until then, remember, England is your true enemy. Japan is your true friend. You know, that girl's doing a wonderful job. Unbelievable, if it wasn't fact, satisfying the NIPs and Australian intelligence all in the same broadcast. You have orders to surface for me tomorrow night at the usual time? Yes, Miss Moore. Good night.
code. Mm-hmm. Good evening, Australia. From Miss Australia. I was born down under. That is why I'm called Miss Australia. And that is why I tell you nothing but the truth on these broadcasts. Of course. Naturally, I'm just as disappointed as you are. Thanks for keeping me informed, Stuart. I appreciate it. Bad news, Wiley. About the Shadow Island case? I was talking to Stuart earlier today. Yes, I know. He told you Phil Cardin was still trailing Drag Doggins' friend, Jack Roberts. Frankly, with X-9 on the assignment, I didn't think Roberts had a chance. He looked that way for a week or so. Considering Phil only had the name of a man with no criminal record, he did a remarkable piece of work getting a line on the right Jack Roberts. I suppose you're going to tell me now Roberts has managed to get Drag Doggins' data to the Jap. No. By the way, Australia advises that their agent on Shadow Island hasn't been able to find out what makes the data so important. Now you've really got me worried. What did Stuart just tell you? He read me a report from the West Coast. X-9 and Jack Roberts have disappeared. stuck in this boat trying to find you. She sailed two days ahead of schedule. Oh, they thought you were a stowaway and put you to work, huh? No, I bought my job. Why go to all that trouble? You could have radioed for a plane to pick us up. Because I found out something about this little tub. My only chance now is to win a bet that I've made with myself. I'm gambling that you're as good an American as any of the boys who are dying in the battlefields. If I'm wrong, I lose. I don't catch your drift. But I'd be in the Army now, only my ticker's not up to snuff. Maybe I win my bet at that. I don't imagine you're especially fond of the Japs and Nazis, are you? I'll say I'm not. But where do they fit in this picture? They want the package that you're taking to drag Dorgan on Shadow Island. Oh, so that's your game, huh? Cutting in on dragging me. Government man, my eye. You think you're on a neutral ship, but her officers are Nazis. And her real cargo was ammunition that she took on board that night she hoped to beside that other tramp steamer we met. Go tell the captain the story you told me. Ask him for Dorgan's package. It's in the ship's safe. Okay, I'll try again. How are you getting to Shadow Island? This tub isn't going there. What do you think I'm packing for? They put me on a boat that does stop at the island. Maybe you'll believe me when you get on that boat. She'll be Japanese. Don't let on I'm here. You'll get it if you do. What are you guys doing in those Nazi uniforms? At the time you learned that you are working for the Axis. You're on a charming ship. You're going to be put on a Japanese submarine. Our captain wishes to pay military respect to our allies. Is your luggage ready? I think it's about time for the United States to take over, don't you think, Roberts? Now what? Your game, I think we can still keep the Japs from getting Drag Dorgan's package. You win your bet, all right. Start taking off those uniforms. You heard him. Get out of those rags. Come on, snap it up. If 
you made contact with the submarine? Talked to Captain Coragaga a short time ago. We should sight him any moment now. Thanks for the information. Oh, yeah, climb up. See if I can spot that sub. See anything? Here she comes. He's not the uniforms have gotten us this far. Why can't they get us to Drag's package? No, there's not a chance. They really have that safe guard. No, it's this way or nothing. Here's that wavelength we wanted. Phillips, on board Freighter Swanson, calling American Naval Base. Captain Korkaga, Captain Korkaga. Listen, sir. Phillips, on board Freighter Swanson, calling American Naval Base. American Naval Base standing by. Coming, Phillips. American Naval Base standing by. Phillips reporting. Jap submarine sighted. Does not suspect trap. I'm in control of SS Swanson. Jap submarine will be blown out of the water. East longitude, 125 degrees, 8 minutes. North latitude, 30 degrees, 2 minutes. Crash time. Stand by to attack. Crash time. Stand by to attack. Dragon American. We'll soon learn Japan can do some blasting on our own account. No torpedoes. No torpedoes. Any luck? They're still coming towards us. Maybe. Oh, they're going down. They're going down fast. You mean the Japs are going to blow this tub sky high, don't you? Higher than that, for all I care, and drag Dorgan's package along with her. Hey, what about us? We're going overboard right now. Two. Fire two. Fire two. Fire two fires, sir. 